We are back on a Saturday morning with our series On Call with the encouraging news that a third vaccine from Johnson & Johnson may soon be on the way and the numbers showing that coronavirus cases are on the decline. We wanted to answer some of the most pressing questions out there this morning. So we went right to the expert NBC senior medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres, for some of this morning's answers. Dr. Torres, nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning as well. And I'm a Chiefs fan in case you want to know. Sort that of. was our top question. Thank you, Dr. Torres. All right, well, our second question is about this third vaccine that could be on the way. What's the difference, and should you choose which vaccine you take or take the one that's available? And, Kristen, the bottom line is take the one that's available. I say the best shot to get is the first one you can get, but there are some differences between the shots. If you remember Moderna and Pfizer, 94.1, 95% effective, and so they show a high level of, of effectiveness. Johnson & Johnson, you hear about that 72% effectiveness, but you have to remember, they compared apples to oranges, and so they're not looking at the same thing. At the end of the day, all three of these shots do a great job at keeping you from getting severe COVID, keeping you from getting hospitalized or dying from COVID, which is the bottom line to all of this. And so, you know, the main difference also, Johnson & Johnson, one-shot dose, it doesn't require the storage, so it's going to be easier to get out there and get to people. But overall, any shot you can get at this point is the best shot for you to get. And Dr. Torres, so many families have been separated now for so long due to this pandemic. If your loved ones, your grandparents or others have now gotten the vaccine, is it safe for you to go see them in person? And Peter, the thing you have to remember is the risk still exists. It's there even if you've gotten vaccinated because we have not reached that herd immunity. We're not even close to it at this point. But the more people that have vaccines, the safer it is to do things. So it's a matter of risk categories. If you're around other people who have gotten the vaccine as well and they've been safe, that risk is very low of getting or transmitting anything. But if you're visiting family, especially kids who have not gotten the vaccine, you have to remember even though the vaccine protects you from getting COVID, we don't know what it does as far as transmitting COVID, you giving it to somebody else. And so you want to be careful there as well. So those doors are starting to open a little bit. Not quite there yet. You need to consider your pod, the people you're with, who they're with, and, and where they've been, the same measures we've taken, but they are starting to ease a little bit, Peter. And of course, one of the issues we're dealing with now is these new variants, some of them more highly contagious. So what precautions should people be taking given that? So the same safety measures we've been taking are the safety measures you do right now because they work against these variants, and which is an important thing because we talk about the vaccines and how well they work. The same measures, wearing a mask, social distance, all those things that we talk about work very well against these. But because these variants are more contagious, you want to exercise more caution. So just double down on the measures. I get the question about double masking. Not necessary if you have a good quality mask that fits, but if you don't, then you want to think about double masking, especially in crowds. Finally, your best guacamole. I'm just kidding. Finally, <laughs> to have a safe weekend this week. A lot of people are going to have these parties in spite of the recommendations <laughs> that you stay apart. If you're having folks around, what's the best way to do this safely? So the best way to do it safely is to avoid those large crowds. Make sure it's small group gatherings. You want to stay outdoors instead of go indoors. So if you can put out a projector and put up a sheet where you can show the film or the game that way, perfect. And now's a good time to be rude. So show up late, leave early, minimize the time you're there. And instead of that plate of chicken wings or that big bowl of nacho cheese dip, do individual servings. That way you're not sharing condiments, you're not sharing utensils, and you're not sharing food items or bowls. Yeah, if you are going to have guacamole. Game. Yeah, enjoy the game. And if you're going to have guacamole, make sure you have your own bowl. All right, Dr. Torres, thank you so much. Great to see you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.